Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. I'm sitting here chilling out. I want to talk about something today, man. Um, why don't people want to hear the truth? That's the name of this video. Why do we have to pretend to be something that we're not? And it seems like, you know, you can keep you can keep up the facade, but for so long. But eventually, you have to be yourself. And I see it all over online. I see um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. People make every kind of excuse because they just don't want to be real about shit. We can't be real about anything, can we? It, it, it just drives me crazy that, like, I see some of my family members online every day faking and faking and faking. Why we just, why you just can't be yourself, man? Why do you have to pretend or betray to be something that you're not? If you're not happy with your life, it's okay. I'm not happy with, with my life. But at some point, Admitting it is a start. Um, there's one of my old pastors, church that I used to go to, uh, Pastor Nick. He said something that was very interesting. He said, you can't heal what you won't reveal. The thing that you're hiding will eventually be exposed. Why not just be honest with yourself? You don't have to... You know, like these people go online every day pretending like they got the perfect relationship, taking all these pictures on the job. Why? That that shows poor self-esteem because the, the emptiest beer can makes the loudest noise, doesn't it? You ever notice when you squeeze a, a empty beer can, you know how much noise does it make? But do full cans of beer make noise no they don't and it's just sad that people just don't want to accept the truth about anything man about sports about life and I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to get on something else I'm going to be talking about a lot of topics today this ain't going to be a long video um, but I want to talk about especially the LeBron Michael Jordan comparison right this dude has lost six NBA Finals, right? Michael Jordan never lost the NBA Finals. And you're supposed to put LeBron over Michael. That doesn't make sense at all. It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. But obviously, people have their own opinions about things. It's just, why can't people just accept the truth? When you talk about things, and there's a lot of um, YouTube channels out here that tell the truth, and they get one, and when they do live screens, they got two and three people. And I'm going to tell y'all a secret. You see why I don't do scream yards? For what? Because ain't nobody going to listen to what I'm saying. Because why? Because you're afraid. Because people are afraid of the truth. I'm not going to waste my time. I thought about it the other day. I said, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. Because I seen a cha couple of channels the other day. Black sports YouTubers. Doing live screams. And you got four people. I mean, why waste your time? Why waste? Why, I mean, if I seen a dude, no lie, the other day. He do he do romantic rom, um relationship uh content. And he had a live scream and nobody was even there. Huh? Why even put yourself in those type of situations? If you see people don't want to be bothered, let it go. That's how I feel. Cause I know people don't like me. But I don't let that get me down. I accept. See, the thing is, look, you have to accept the truth. 
I know half of my family ain't shit. I know half of them don't want to be bothered. But I accept. See, but I accept the truth. I know that people where I work at, I work at a college. And when I sit at my desk, I already know these people think they better than me. A bunch of stuck up ass people. But I already, but see, you know what? I can accept the truth. When I get rejected, like a couple of weeks ago, we supposed this girl I was supposed to meet up with, flaked, didn't call me, didn't do nothing. But you know what? See, I can accept the truth. When my marriage went bad, right? I started blaming somebody, other people, blaming her for that. But I looked at myself, right? See, and now that I accept the truth, my life is a lot better. When I got fired from Walmart, right? Worked there for 13 years, right? I, I, I was calling out a lot. I was oversleeping. I wasn't doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I got fired. Because I didn't put my best, my best foot forward. Because see, I can't accept the truth. Just like with this page. That's why I don't do scream yards and I don't do live screams because people don't want to hear the truth. If you don't penis ride one player, nobody's going to like you. Let's just call a spade a spade. You got these women out here. I don't really like talking about relationships because guys don't want to hear the truth. In fact, what, what guys do, I might could be wrong, right? But a lot of guys use sports to escape your problems. They, they come on YouTube to feel good. And when you contact like me, I'm going to tell you how it is. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to tell the, tru the truth, whether it fills the room or empty the room. That's how I feel. Because the truth has liberated me. The truth. I remember when I when I, when I first got my divorce, man. I was a, I was a mess. But once I start getting myself together, and once I start accepting my faults, my life got a hundred percent better. Do you understand that when you accept the truth, that your life can improve? I'm, I'm starting to see money. I'm starting to see women have interest in me. I'm starting to see people coming around. You know why? Because I learned not to beg nobody. When you can, when you can be by yourself. See, that's the problem with a lot. People are afraid to be alone. When you, when you're a truthful person, you're not going to have a lot of friends. You're not going to have a big YouTube following. You're not going to, people are not going to follow you on free. I post things on Instagram. Like I was going to post something. I might post it at night where I posted where I said that women don't marry for love. They marry for finance. Is that hate or is that the truth? A lot of these women out here, they want something easy. You see, that's the problem with people. Everybody want the good life. But nobody wants to put in the work to get to 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 have the good life. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to put in the work for anything. But they want to go online and pretend and play this role like we got it, but we don't. Or people will live a life. They know they can't. They got this out of the outside. Like it's a couple of family members of mine. Nice cars. Know they can't afford them. But just for just for the facade just for just for to look good in front of people I could get a car right now if I really wanted to but what good is that if I'm eating ooze and noodles every day for lunch because I'm trying to impress everybody instead of trying to impress myself I can go get a job a government job somewhere else but what I want a job where every five minutes somebody's telling you let's go in the office let's or Amazon I can go make $18 or $20. But what good is all of that if every five minutes you getting called in the office? You have no peace. See, that's the thing that you got to understand when you can accept the truth. Being truthful and being honest with yourself. 
that brings you peace. Can't nobody take my peace. Ain't nothing worth me taking my peace. Nothing. But when you're lying to yourself, you have to put on a facade. You have to put on a, it's too much work. Ain't it funny how facade and hard, hard rhymes. You putting on that facade every day. They online every day playing happy. Where, where is that getting you? You know, well, we, you know, we in a relationship. We in a relationship for the kids. Why are we in a, why, why be with somebody you don't want to be there? You want to play this happy role where you know you ain't got nothing going on. You know they cheating on you. You know they don't want you. But you have to put on this facade. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, man. Just like with this page. Why you think you see a black screen? Why you see you don't see screams? You don't see none of that. Because I can accept the truth. Because I know people don't like me. Everybody's not going to understand life is about rejection. That everybody can't and won't like you. That's the truth, ain't it? But you can pretend on you. I can pretend. I ain't going to get a car because I know it's a car lot down the street. I seen a nice little Jaguar, 2013 joint. Nice too. All the man want, what, five, what four, $400 a month, right? I ain't going to get that car. Pay insurance, got to pay premium gas. How much money am I going to have? I'm going to have nothing. But I'm, I'm all I'm going to have is a car because I'm trying to impress people instead of being at peace. See, people that try to impress other people, they're not, they're not, they're not secure with themselves. The loud, that is an old saying, the loudest line never catches any prey. You see people online faking it up. I'm living this dream life and broke as a joke. Why we just, I don't understand why we just can't be real. Like, especially when it comes to basketball and stuff. Nobody wants to hear the truth about anything. These players are God figures to people. You know what I'm saying? People use YouTube and that's what makes YouTube addictive. That's what makes social media addictive. Because they can create, they can create and be something that they're not. Half of these YouTubers try to play this stuff, this thug role, but yet it's a dude named Johnny Blaze, right? Go subscribe to him, right? Cool, pretty cool dude. Um, I don't watch him a lot, but he's a pretty cool dude from Chicago. Anyway, it was a dude talking smack about him, right? Now these dudes play all this gangster, gangstified role on YouTube. But a dude pulled up in front of his house, and the guy didn't even want to come out the house. Come out, come out the house. But you was, but you was internet banging and YouTube banging. See what I'm saying? If you're not a gangster, why be a gangster? Why be something that you're not? But that's what social media can do for you. It can turn you into something that you're not. I'm a working man. I go to work every day. I ain't got time to sit sit like some of these other YouTubers and sit in front of a camera all day long. Why you can't go get you a job? Go get you a nine to five. But we just, we can't be honest, man. Honesty is not allowed, man. Like, like the minister said that, you know, people won't like, People won't feel good videos. They don't want real videos. People don't want, they go to church on Sunday, right? They don't want to hear real sermons. They want, they want fake sermons. You know, the congregation, they, they, they want, they want to be fed milk and not, and and not meat. I I can drink milk, but how am I going to get full? I need that meat to make me full, right? The truth is the meat. The truth is what's going to fix your life. But if you can't accept the truth, how can life change for you? In sports, how can sport teams get better if they don't want to accept it, accept reality for what it is? See, I can accept reality. Reality is a tough thing. It can make you cry. But it's better 
It's but I'd rather be smacked with the truth than kissed with a lie. Because you can lie to everybody. I'm going to say this. You can bullshit everybody, but you can't bullshit yourself, can you? Can you? I, I, I just don't understand these YouTubers. They'll do, they'll do basketball live screens, right? And I'm not trying to knock nobody hustle. What the fuck I'm going to do? Excuse me, I know I'm cursing a little bit. But what the hell am I going to do as a live screen if I know ain't nobody going to watch? Why would you want to do that to yourself? It, it, it just don't make sense, man. If 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 I ain't popping, you can't make people pop. You can't. That's the thing. And what the thing they're doing is they're forcing it. You can't make somebody like you if they don't. That's another thing that people do. You try to make people just like certain family members I got. I used to go call or visit them all the time. But you know what I did? I stopped doing it because life is about action. If I'm calling you, you never calling me. What's that tell you? If if I'm taking you live 30 miles away from me, if I'm driving every Sunday to come see how or catching a bus or a lift to come see how you doing. But you never come to see me. What the hell does that tell you? If I see like this lady, this teacher at the, at, at the job. Nice looking lady too. Walk past the desk every day and don't say nothing. But every day I have to speak to you. But you you can speak. You'll speak to me. But the only time you speak to me unless I speak to you. Or And the thing is, people will be nice to you if you go visit them. But they just won't come visit you. When you call, they can call you. But, they, you know, you call them. They, they'll talk to you. you talk for two for an hour. But when you call them, but when they when, they, when you're looking for them to call you, it never happens. Or like on Instagram or Facebook, you can like everything they say, but they'll like what you say, but they won't like anything that you post. What does that tell you? You see what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, the people know the truth, but they just don't want to accept it. Once you start accepting things for the way they are, life will improve for you. Life will get better for you. But sitting up lying every day, what is that doing? If you see, or a female, you see you 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 making all the moves, but they making nothing. What does that say about you? Do you have any self-respect? If somebody if somebody don't want to be bothered, leave them the fuck alone. Just like on YouTube. If you doing a live screen, you talking on a live screen, ain't nobody responding. What the fuck are you doing this shit for? You don't have to beg for a motherfucking thing. If they don't fuck with you, leave them the fuck alone. Just like this shit. Why you see I do bare minimum? Because you give me bare minimum, right? See, I'm the kind of person I go by. I watch I watch people's actions. I'm going to give you the same energy you give me. You give me nothing. I'm going to give you nothing. I'm going I'm to mirror everything you do. Because we playing, it's just like a game of tennis. If I'm hitting the racket, I'm hitting the ball to you, but you're not going to hit the ball ball back. What the fuck? I'm going to keep playing the game with you. But see, that's when the truth come in. The truth will come in because you'll say, okay, well, I can accept that this person doesn't want to be bothered. I can walk away. See that? But see, a lot of people don't want to face reality. And that's not facing reality with how you like these, these mess of a people. Just like Joey Taylor. Joey, that's it, Joey, Joey said. Joey Taylor. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sister. Smart sister. Uh, Jason, you know, uh, I think her name is Jason, Jason Taylor's uh, sister. Y'all know who she is, J, uh, Joey Taylor, Fox Sports 1. Beautiful, right? Every day she posts all these goddamn pictures. Why? I mean, why do that? Just to make yourself feel happy? Because if you are really are happy with your life, you don't have to show everything, do you? Or they're going these posts, and sometimes my cousins do this shit. It is very irritating. Every every goddamn day she posting pictures of her baby. Why do you need to do that shit? 
if you are a great parent, you don't need to let everybody know what the fuck you're doing. Because when you're trying to show the world who you are, that means you're not secure with yourself. Just like Joy, Joy Taylor. Joy Taylor. Every damn day she's taking all these goddamn pictures, but don't fucking respond. With, with your fans, just like these NBA players, they'll do all, they'll re, just like Cameron does this shit. Cameron will, will make a post, right? But he only, re, like, bust the rhymes, um, Nas or um, Ninth Wonder or who else? Um, Kooji Rap. Havoc or somebody, <coughs> Jimmy, uh, yeah, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Jones, you know, Jim Jones, Capo. He'll respond to them, but he won't respond to just an average Joe, right? But Cameron don't realize that the average Joe is paying for your album. See, a lot of these stars think that they're better than everybody, and you're not. You're no better than no because the same people you see on the way up are the same people you're gonna see on the way down. And I, I see that shit on Instagram a lot. Like all of these niggas, right? Excuse my French, but we gotta call it because when you a nigga, you're dumb. These niggas, when Joy, when Joy Taylor, Joy Taylor make a post a, a, a picture on Instagram, right? She posts thousands of pictures. And these niggas talking about, this one dude said that, will you marry me, Joy? Are you serious? Leaving, and they don't respond to you. If people don't want to be bothered, leave it the fuck up. Why, why go on Instagram? Half of these people, these celebrities, don't even reply to what the fuck they saying. But they blowing. That's like I seen a, a dude in the Nas comment set say, you're the greatest rapper of all time. Which he is one of the greats. But he don't respond to you. And I feel some type of way about that because I feel like ain't nobody better than you. Ain't nobody better than nobody. Just because you got an opportunity that somebody else doesn't mean that you have the right to ignore people. It, it just don't make sense. That once you accept, once you can accept the truth, the truth gives you confidence. Because when bad things happen, okay, you can accept, okay, well, she flaked, all right, she don't want to be bothered. Okay, I got fired. Okay, but I'm a own, I own what I did. A relationship didn't work. Okay, I kept cheating. I wasn't there. Okay, it okay, it was my fault. Okay, I can move on. Fuck it. Or like on YouTube. Okay, well, I don't have that many subscribers. People are not watching. Okay, people just don't fuck with me like that. Okay, I can accept that. Then boom, move on, keep it moving. See, that's how I am now. Because I can't accept things for the way they are. But a lot of people can't accept them. People have a hard time accepting the truth. It's just like when something bad happens to you, you can't blame everybody else. Eventually, you have to look at yourself. And once you start accepting the truth, you start getting stronger. It makes you stronger. Now, can't nobody play me. Can't no, can't no bitch play me. Excuse my French. Because I know the truth. I see When I see through the bullshit, okay, I'm going to just cut you the fuck off. Because I'm okay with being by myself. But a lot of people have to go on Instagram. They have to go on Facebook. Because they don't put out those posts. They feel like they're nothing. Just like you look at these females. All they can do is shake their ass on, on Instagram. What can you bring? Or show their feet. Or show their show they titties. Or can you do more than can you, can you do? Can you do something else more than that? Okay, what can you do? What kind of intelligence do you have? Only thing you can do is show your ass. How pathetic is that? They they, they kill me, man. They they kill me. And then these niggas, these dumb niggas, every day up there worshiping these females. That's why we think they won't want a relationship for. Because they know they come a dime a dozen because they got thousands of followers. And a lot of these women don't understand that having a thousand people on a live screen showing your ass is not a flex, is it? We want attention so bad that they'll do anything for attention. People are so attention desperate. But once you can accept the truth, I'm going to close on this. I ain't going to be on this long. 
much longer. <laughs> well, once you can accept the truth, a man that's an honest man, that's honest with himself, he's not going to go out, he's not going to put, he's not going to look desperate. A man that's happy with himself. He's not on Instagram worshiping all these celebrities. He's not on Instagram looking at these females that have nothing but they ass. When an honest, a honest man, when he sees and he sees family members that don't fuck with him, he cut them off. When he goes to work, he goes to work to go to work. He's not there to make friends. He's there to make money. A honest man knows, okay, okay, these people in the job don't fuck with me. An honest man is not an ass kisser. Because you don't have to kiss. Because you're kissing the ass because you're hoping that, 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 that they will change, but it won't. If people don't like you, it's nothing you can do about it, is it? See, a truthful man can accept things for the way they are, not for the not for the way they hoped it could be. And hope will get you fucked up in life. Hope will get you depressed. Because if they're showing you who they really are, believe them. You cannot make people care if they don't. That's the truth. See, that's the thing you got to understand. Just like with this YouTube shit. I can give a fuck if people don't like me. Because I'm honest with myself. I care about you guys. But if you don't want to be here, I'm not going to I'm not gonna hold nobody hostage. When you can accept the truth. The truth makes you a stronger person. I don't understand why people don't want to hear it. Why people don't want to hear po- truthful posts. Because they, they go to church every day just to feel good. God wrote the Bible. He wrote the Bible. He didn't write the Bible to make you feel good. He wrote the Bible to 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 make you to make your life right. But you can't make your life right lying to yourself. You can't. No, you can bullshit people, but you can't bullshit yourself. Every morning you look yourself in a mirror every day. A lot of people are not even happy with themselves. Because they don't, truth, they don't want to hide. Or they don't, that situation is fucked up. So what they'll do, they'll come on YouTube just to look at a video, just to laugh. Laugh at that pain away, that's not going to help it. What's going to help your life is you can accept things for the way they are and fix them. But playing happy on the internet every day, you're wasting your time. The time you're taking... All that time faking them from pictures, you could be actually doing what you what you faking about. But see, that's the problem. People don't want to put in the work to do anything. The truth, see, that's another reason why people don't want to hear the truth. Because the truth causes you to change. And a lot of people don't want to change. They want they stubborn in their ways. They they want they don't want to change. But it took me a long time to, to get this to get this message. That especially about my family. I realized half of them ain't shit. Half of them a bunch of stuck up motherfuckers that got their nose down looking up at people. Half of them, only time I see you, unless I post something about um, a birthday or somebody died, only time I see you was at a funeral. But I can't see you or unless you need something. But outside of that, I never see you. But the thing is, look, I accept that. I accept the fact that these women out here, they don't really want men for them. They want men for finance. But that's they don't see that's the thing. They don't want to hear the truth. And that's why a lot of these young brothers out here getting played. Because they don't want to be honest. So the more you keep, the more you lie, the more you cry. But once you want the more you're real, the more you heal. You have to accept the truth, whether you want to hear it or not. I'd rather for somebody to be honest with me than bullshit me. But that's all I gotta say. I just wanna say that I just don't understand why the world just can't accept the truth. Tell me what y'all think I'm out.